Hey Teslavians, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron and in this video I'm going to review the new features and enhancements in the latest Tesla software update, including some undocumented features. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my future Tesla tips and feature videos. With that, let's dive right in. I just received the new software update version 2023.20.4.1, which was released on June 9. This update includes the features and fixes in versions 2023.20 and 2023.20.4 as well. The release notes only mentions the minor fixes for this update, but it actually includes some undocumented features and enhancements, which I'll be reviewing in this video. The first undocumented feature is related to tire service. If you go to controls menu, then select service, you can see the approximate mileage since the last tire rotation or replacement. When get your tires rotated, replaced, or swapped, you should tap on the reset option to reset the mileage. If you tap the details icon, it will display some suggestions about tire maintenance. According to this, it is recommended to rotate tires every 6,250 miles to maximize the tire's lifespan. Another update related to tire service is the wheel and tire button. If you tap on that, you can change your tire configuration, which impacts your car's estimation of range, tire pressure, warning levels, and the car visualization. The next undocumented feature is related to preview cameras. If you go to the controls menu, then select service and scroll down, you can see the camera preview option. If you tap on that, it opens the camera preview screen, first by showing a disclaimer. This option is there to check your cameras and make sure they are functional and their view is not blocked. Before this update, you could only access the cabin camera, but now you can preview all 9 cameras on hardware 3 and 8 on hardware 4, since it has 2 front cameras instead of 3. To select the camera, just tap on each one on the top. The next undocumented update is related to the trip's information. In this update, the current trip odometer metrics have been changed, and now, instead of displaying kilowatt hour, the current trip odometer displays the number of minutes since the vehicle was put into drive. The other odometers, such as since last charge, trip A and trip B still display kilowatt hour. The next undocumented feature is related to the passenger's climate temperature control. The app launcher at the bottom of the screen now only displays the driver's climate setting if there is no one sitting in the passenger seat. Then when someone sits in the passenger seat, the passenger temperature setting will automatically appear and disappears when the passenger leaves the car. Another related enhancement is the addition of a mini climate control menu that gives a quick access to the main options. With this update, you will see a small enhancement in Tesla's mobile app as well. Now if you tap on the security and drivers, you will see the new pin to drive option that allows to enable and set the pin directly from the Tesla app. When you toggle this feature on, it asks you for a pin and sends it to the car. This allows you to remotely give access to another driver who doesn't have the phone key or the key card. Thank you for watching. If you find this short video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit the like button and consider to subscribe so I can reach to a wider audience in my future videos. Also please let me know in the comments which other features or enhancements would you like to see in Tesla's future software update. As always, thank you and see you in the next video.